Dancing Dots is the company that enables visually impaired musicians to independently read, write, and record their music. Using our software, sighted people can create print scores that can be automatically converted to the equivalent braille music in seconds or presented as magnified print notation for people with low vision. These sighted users need not necessarily know anything about braille music or assistive technology. However, they should know the basics of print music notation. In this presentation, you will see and hear the solutions that work for sighted people, blind musicians like me, and for performers with low vision. You'll see in here simultaneous presentation of music in print, magnified print, braille, and as we call it, the talking score. Of course, blind musicians still have the low tech option to produce hard copy braille parts and study them just the way Louis Braille and all of us have done since he invented his code for blind musicians. Dancing Dots can provide consultation and training to help you get started and the hardware like braille displays, braille printers, musical keyboards, and scanners. And we publish a series of braille music courses in both print and braille for you and your students to get ready. I hope you will enjoy this 10 minute presentation, especially if you yourself are visually impaired or if you are a teacher or a parent of a blind or low vision student. See dancingdots.com for more details and please do contact us with any questions or to request your free evaluation version of our software. Thank you. Discover an accessible music technology for the visually impaired where you can read, create, practice, and perform. The Limelighter allows you to set your preferred zoom level then choose from a variety of background and note color options. It also includes a wireless pedal board, magnifying music tracks to your eye, so there's no need to find the next line or even turn the page. You can scan, import music XML, or directly enter scores into the Lime Editor software. You can listen through your piece at any tempo, or turn on the automatic scrolling option and play along to a metronome click. The touch features allow you to make notes in your music and navigate quickly to any measure. After the work is done, it's time to perform with confidence because you know the score. Dancing Dots, where music meets technology for the blind and low vision performers. All right, Kim's jig, first phrase. One, two, ready, go. Let's do that again, please. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. I'm going to demonstrate how to scan sheet music to produce music braille using sharp eye, lime, and good feel. First, I'll open sharp eye and open an image. This is the image window. I'm going to tell sharp eye to read the image and put the music in this top window, the music window. All right, you see I got six rhythm warnings. Each warning is indicated by a blue triangle. So I'm going to fix these. So the first problem seems to be the down stem voice doesn't have enough beats. So I'm going to right click to say go into insert mode, left click a half note rest and half rest and put it down here with the down stem 
generally we're there. So we have a missing natural sign here. So I left click the note that needs it and left click on the attribute. I'm missing a note on this one here. So I'm going to go into insert mode again, add head to chord and add this note head. Now I'm going to scroll to the right, look for the next blue triangle. Here's the next one. Again, I think we're missing time for a certain voice. So we need a quarter rest here for this upstem voice and then half rest. So insert quarter rest and half rest over here. Here. There. It's gone. So now we have this for we have a deck of tuplet or whatever they're called. So I'm selecting all these notes. And I'm going to say they're 10 in the time of 8. Click on the tuplet sign and that one that measures happy. And now we have a stray note here. So I'll just left click it, delete it, and confusion was it's supposed to be a flat sign on this note. And we got some more problems down here. So we're missing a note to the right of this. So I'm going to right click and add this note fix the stem direction I'm going to beam all these three notes together and these two are supposed to be 30 second notes so I'll select them and say they're 30 second notes fix the stem real fast fix the stem real fast to make it look pretty uh, more uh, missing time for a certain voice so we need a quarter rest here and we need a half rest for this um, the up stem voice is missing a half rest there all right so now I'm going to save this music so I opened line and now I'm going to import the music XML file that I just saved from Sharpie and I'll take the defaults in these dialogs that come up. And I'm going to add a title. I'm going to name the part. I'm going to go to File, Launch, Good Feel. And Good Feel will uh, warn about certain things that it finds. It found no initial temporal marking. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and process it. And we can look at the Braille and the Braille editor. As you saw, SharpEye is a wonderful tool, but it does take some error correction, and scanning errors are inevitable. Also, for a blind user, SharpEye is not a reasonable solution most of the time because those errors need to be corrected by someone who can see the original score. And of course, if we could do that, we wouldn't need to do all this work. The good news is that there's a format called Music XML, and you can get Music XML files from many sources now, more and more online for free or very low cost. This one I'm going to import is Patriotic Song by John Philip Sousa, Stars and Stripes Forever, which I found online. Colon from colon stars and stripes forever dot XML, piano dash one, bar one beat one, treble clef, three flats, E flat major, cut time. Okay, so there it is. And I can feel the Braille music. I can see bar one. I can see the right hand sign, a double forte. We come in on a high E flat while there are doubled octaves. I can arrow down to the left hand part. Piano dash three. It's also marked with double forte. And it also has off that same figure in octaves. So let's listen back to it. it starts out double forte, so it's a bit loud. Here we go. Key, here are specified parts, enter. saw it's pretty much as easy as opening a file it's just click on import instead of open and there's that dialogue of different options see dancingdots.com for more details and please do contact us with any questions or to request your free evaluation version of our software thank you